Hi there, I'm Brenchy Matt from Crab Apple Martial Arts Academy. And in this video, we are going to go over our intermediate and our advanced punching techniques or sukiwaza. So in the last video, we went through our basic strikes, such as vertical punch, corkscrew punch, our jabs, our crosses, hook punches, uppercuts, and things like leopard fist. In this one, we're gonna expand upon uh, and go through our next level strikes. And there's just not as many at this level. So the first thing we're, we're going to cover is called a rising punch. In Japanese, that's called ajiken zuki. Now, when we throw this punch, think of there being two strikes that occur in this punch. So from here, I'm going to start with my punch from the trigger point. My punch is going to go out at a downward angle towards the center line of the body. So it's going to be down. I'm making impact here. Now my punch will travel upward and hitting the opponent under the chin. So it's a one, two, and then back. What we don't want to do is keep it rising over when we strike. It's one, two, and it stops just beyond the moment of impact. So from our trigger point, it's going to corkscrew out, hit low abdomen, then under the chin. Low abdomen, under the chin. Rising punch, Ajikin Zuki. Now, when we throw it, obviously we don't want to be as robotic as we are right now. It's going to flow. We just want to be careful that we don't get sloppy and overflow to the next position. Now, in a couple forms, you will see a rising punch and it comes over. That's following a different set of principle where it's moving into the next strike. But on the execution of this technique, it's a hit, then under the chin, and then bring it back. The next strike we're going to cover is known as Urikin Zuki, or back fist. Now, back fist can be thrown several different ways. The overarching aspect that makes it a back fist is that it hinges from the elbow. Now, that's not to say we're not using the hips and the shoulders, but the majority of the strike occurs from hinging at the elbow. So if I am in my fighting stance, my hands are up from here, my elbow is going to lead slightly and then my fist will extend out from the elbow hitting. Now I'm hitting with the top two knuckles and that's a great spot to hit the side of the head. So I'm going from the side on my urikin zuki or back fist. Now sometimes you'll see an over the top crashing down on the nose or hinging under the chin this way so I can go from the side, over the top, or under. And that is back fist or urikin zuki. Now those are, are our intermediate level punches. Next we're gonna go into our final punch out of all of our standardized punches and that is our round punch or mawashi zuki. Now this is not to be confused with a hook punch which is circular in nature. This one will go out and it moves like a corkscrew punch but at the moment of impact it will turn all the way over so the thumb side is down and the pinky side is up. So. I'm in my fighting stance, my hands are up, my punch will travel out and roll over. Now that's done off the front hand, it can also be thrown off of the rear hand and it's going to roll over. Again, thumb side down. And that is a Mawashi Zuki. Now as a special bonus in our advanced strikes, we're gonna go over a couple other hand strikes that we can do, although technically they're not considered sukiwaza uh, punches, they're still hand strikes. So we have our um, ridge hand. Now the position that we want to do here is our hand will be out palm side down with the thumb tucked under. The flat part of our hand here is our striking surface. So I'm in my fighting stance. My hand will travel out and it will open and turn over, hitting the side of the head. Now off of the rear hand, comes across. This is a great strike to hit the side of the, the head, side of the face. So it's straight across. 
and that is a ridge hand strike. I'm Richie Matt from Crab Apple Martial Arts Academy, and I will see you on the net.